welcome back to the channel it is Jatan with all things Jatan and like I told y'all if y'all watched my video last night your girl is back I just needed to give myself a little bit of grace and a little break in between because I've been processing a lot um and sometimes when it's just you um you you need to give yourself that type of grace and that break or whatever I did just go ahead and shampoo my hair so if you're wondering why it's all over my head like this that is the reason why but it's not gonna stop me from promise giving you guys what I promise um, and that is a update question and answer video regarding my home buying process um, I'm gonna touch on the most common questions that I get asked um, some people have messaged me on Instagram some people have messaged, sent me emails directly um, and I just want to make sure that I'm here for you guys. I didn't forget you guys. Uh, but some of these things that I get commonly asked, I'm probably like in the midst of it myself. So I want to have a little bit more insight before talking about different things. So let me just go ahead and get started. The most common question that I get asked is, how do I feel about my home? Am I so happy that I purchased this and the third? No mind my ice cup. Y'all know your good sis. Um, I am still blessed and thankful to have purchased my second home because for those of you that have been with me for a while, this is my second home. Um, originally, uh, I had a home back in Delaware that I sold to my best friend Amber or whatever and then my kids and I moved to Georgia. It'll be almost two years in um, December and I'm not interested whatsoever in selling my home at this time and there's a number of reasons why and I just want to bring these out because money can be a motivator for a lot of things but I also want to talk about things that can potentially block your, block your blessings when I moved into my house there were certain things that were like a non-negotiable as far as what I needed to have or what I wanted to have because it wasn't really a need as long as I had a roof over my head my kids you know had somewhere to sleep that was good but I wanted a pantry I wanted a decent sized closet I wanted a garage ended up getting two car garage these are all things that I wanted for myself and at first I thought that my home in Delaware would have been my forever home but I'm just like you know I'm not married I haven't settled down yet but I'm not putting my life on hold like I am not dating right now so it's like and I'm glad that like I had the urge and the nudge to go out here and get my own house because for one the cost of rent is more than my mortgage and sometimes that's for a one bedroom for two um when I bought my house, I got my house and I bought down my read. I talked about that on another video, so I'm not going to dig too deep into that. But 2.5, like the rates are much higher than that. And, you know, even though I get offers from my mortgage company saying, hey, do you want to refinance and all this other stuff? Refinance to what? Like refinance to what? Um, I'm going to get a higher rate. It, it don't make sense and although you can refinance at any time who's to say that the rates are ever going to be this low like i don't want to sit up there and set myself up being the primary caregiver of myself and my kids or whatever so that's what i was talking about when i was talking about money now there have been like a couple bumps in the road but i can't even necessarily say that that is due to anything regarding myself or excuse me with the home buying process or the builders or whatever um, I shared on my channel that I had a leak in my ceiling that I had to have like a part of the ceiling cut out and that was as a result of my utility closet. I didn't know that I didn't have the right size filter because mind you when I bought my house I bought my house during the pandemic and um, a lot of things were out of stock and back order and when I first moved in and did my walkthrough they advised me like you want to change your filters excuse me I got my retainers in you want to change your filters very often like especially in the beginning because dust starts to settle it's a new construction just to get it up and working and then after that you can change it every so often I gotta let y'all know because what I did after I had that situation with the um, utility closet and everything I just went ahead and signed up for reoccurring shipment and billing 
on Amazon on that and my refrigerator filters because those aren't things that you typically think of on a regular basis like for me I think of a regular basis I gotta pick the kids up I gotta drop the kids off I gotta get some for dinner I gotta cook dinner I gotta restock on this these things that I'm not doing on a daily basis are not always at the forefront of my mind and I'm just being honest and transparent so those are the type of things that when they come around I'm like oh good I'm almost out of these things like they're scheduled to be delivered boom we in business so uh yeah and then I just feel like also I don't care if you have a new construction or um a pre-existing home that you bought that was already standing firm you create your space to be what you want it to be like I the only thing that I've done is I put like wallpaper in my dining room um I got my closet done and you know I don't want anybody to ever feel some type of way if I don't sell prices and stuff like that I could have went to like Ikea or somewhere and got my closet done and known what the set price was um however I went to Home Depot they came out did the measurements and stuff like that what I may have been told was the price may not be the same price that somebody else gets vice versa so when it comes to that i don't like to discuss prices because i don't want people to be like oh she lied she made i'm too actual factual if y'all know me i'm a sagittarius it, it is what it is i'm a straight juggler uh when it comes to certain things and i don't even want to hear like oh well you could have did this you could have did but i didn't you know what i mean so at the end of the day and i'm not even being smart um I went through Home Depot, that's who I had come out and do my closet. And whenever you're getting any type of work done, go with multiple estimates. You don't always have to go with the first thing you see. Uh, they made my closet to fit exactly what I wanted. I didn't even know what idea I had until they showed me like what options were available. And then I'm like, I loved it. Okay, so that was another thing. Um, someone asked me for an updated home decor or like the progress of my house and to be honest with y'all i have not touched or did anything else in my house since the closet and it's just because i'm super busy like i want to spend as much time making memories with my kids like on the weekends we'll go out and do stuff we just got invited to a birthday party last weekend so although we don't have much family here um i'm meeting and mixing and mingling with people and you know my kids are making friends like the people that are in this neighborhood you know my kids are probably gonna be lifelong friends with so like those type of things are more important than me than just impulsively and that's the other thing like i can get very impulsive trying to fill the space trying to go for a certain look to only not feel that same way about the look a month from now or, or whatever so I still have like on the top of my list in my dining room, I want to get a rug for underneath my dining room table, but I haven't been looking. Um, I also want to get the bedroom downstairs done because I haven't even gotten that together. And I want to try to shoot for before the holidays because if my mom comes up and stays or, you know, anybody else, I don't want them to have to, even though that's what I do, if I got to go back to Delaware for whatever reason, um that's not particularly a place that i want to be so i gotta create a vacation out of it like we gotta stay at a hotel we gotta do all that or whatever um yeah so and then i lost my aunt like for those of y'all that know me my dad had a twin sister my aunt debbie and my aunt debbie really took the tailor very well and When I got Taylor, we had just started working on our relationship and rebuilding because she was also my godmom. So she called me in December and was like, uh, you need to come up here. You need to come up here. And I'm like, Aunt Debbie, I can't. Like, I, I, I. And I didn't know the severity. And within that same month, my aunt ended up passing away. And I got to check on my uncle too because they've been together for ever i want to say like over 40 years or whatever but that's like one of the regrets that i have and caseman also lost her grandma unexpectedly well you know so it has been a lot so i apologize in advance for like 
not putting out this stuff, but whenever I'm going through something, I bury myself in work. And I just get tunnel vision. But I don't want that to, you know, um, disconnect with, like, my channel and my relationship that I've um, had with you all or whatever. And thanks to you all as well. So, with that being said, the house can be created to something that you want it to be. Um, yeah. And then also, uh, that year went by super fast. Like I didn't take any time off. I was coming back and forth and I was logging into my computer, bringing my computer along. And I didn't know that my warranty had expired. So when I had the situation in my garage, you know, they sent somebody out and it was like, Oh, you have to pay. So I'm like, what? Like how long have I been in here? Like, I was lost y'all like how long have I been in here and that just reminded me like even when I was at the old house um I used to have an extended warranty on my old house like if anything were to go wrong um you know you have home insurance if there's like any major cat uh, catastrophe um due to a storm flood whatever like that's an option that you have available but a home warranty is like a warranty to you know, keep all the bells and whistles blowing. And if they're not blowing, then, you know, you have the option to have them come out and fix it. And it's not expensive at all. Like, I um, did my quote online just yesterday. So, this is why I'm on here now. Um, but I did my estimate just yesterday. And I was looking at American Home Shield and a couple of other companies. And American Home Shield was a company that I was already familiar with, which is why I ended up going with them. And I went with the second package and um, while I was putting in my information, like my address, my zip code, I got a call from somebody that worked in the office. And I'm like, I didn't even submit my payment, but look at God, because she was like, if I did it with her over the phone that I can get um, extra discounts and rates. So my price was starting off at $39 and it covered like the utility, like the, um, appliance kitchen appliances my laundry appliances plumbing electrical and i added in the roof or whatever so with that being oh i left my phone over there it was a couple other things i'll try to put it in the description box down below to be actual and factual um and the roof was like an extra ten dollars so i'm like okay 49 dollars. but when she called me and she added in the extra discounts it ended up being 45 and I said, you know, I told her that I had a YouTube channel and, you know, a couple of my subscribers had asked me about extended warranties and things of that nature. Like, is there a coupon code that they can use when signing up, whatever. And she was like, yeah, if you give them the email, which I don't like to get spammed with emails. I don't like to be, um, overwhelmed with emails. Like, that type of stuff ain't even something that I need to see. So I used like my daughter's email and then they said that, you know, you would get an Amazon gift card and they would also get an Amazon gift card. So with that being said, I could give you all email and I'll probably put the email address down in the description box below. That is not the address that's associated with this channel. Um, but that is what I use for to get like the discount or whatever. So I'll put that down below. Um, and if you know anyone that already has a pre-existing home or that is looking for extended, um, you can share that with them and get the discount. I'm not worried about it. This is not sponsored. This is just something that I'm trying to save you all as many coins as possible. Um, yeah. So was there anything else? I feel like I've answered all the questions and I will try to do an updated. Oh, as far as money savings, let me say this. Um, let's just be honest. I went in the grocery store the other day and cereal was $6, over $6. Now I live in Georgia, Delaware, we didn't have any taxes. I'm used to paying $5 and some change on certain things. I'm not saying cereal, but when I seen cereal for $6, I ain't like that. So with that being said, we know that the price of everything is going up. So... I just want to let you guys know some programs that I have previously taken interest in, you know, to help me out during the holidays and the months and stuff like that. Lailway is your best friend. Like if you want any major appliances, like 
do that stuff on the way. You know, you usually have to put down like either 10%, $10, whatever. Um, but I was just online trying to see who was offering it. Um, and a lot of them have started like August 28th, like Walmart, I seen online that they brought their little way back. Uh, Best Buy, I saw a had little way. Amazon. Now, <laughs> I may not be actual and factual because I don't work at these. I've never done it. But when I was online, I saw a website that said that on certain items and purchases, they have an option for you to do Lailway. And y'all know Amazon is a girl's best friend. Like, you can get everything from Amazon. So those are like a couple things that if you want to go ahead and jumpstart on your holiday shopping, check out the stores, do Lailway, you know, pay a little bit at a time over time. And get the things that you need you know and give yourself grace you don't have to have everything done i know i definitely don't have everything that i would want done in my house um and i'm not in any rush because i'm so indecisive when it comes to certain things that what i might have this year i might want to go ahead and get rid of next year so um i appreciate you all for being patient with me and waiting for this information i hope that i was able to help someone um, in their home buying journey, you do what is always best for you. And even with the rates and the prices going up for houses, when it's your time, it's your time. It's going to always work out for your good. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. My cousin gave me a pep talk yesterday, as well as my good friend Tamika. And it was a pep talk that I needed. So, um, as of right now, I'm back. But I am going to give myself grace if I need to take a break here and there. I will be back. I will be back. So see you guys next time.